and welcome back. I'm Monica Crime from PHL 17 Morning News with our special presentation of the Mummers Parade of the Decade. Now we're bringing you to 2020 with Bryce and Wench Brigade. Their highest scoring performance was just last year with their theme roaring into 2020. I love the Gatsby inspired costumes in this one and there are so many families with little ones that make the performance a lot of fun. Check it out. Gatsby kind of theme there. Beautiful flapper style dresses. Nice job, Bryson. Obviously, this is Bryson. I was presaging Oregon that's coming up, but Bryson, Eddie, Gooch, everybody in there, great job. Uh, we lost uh, Bill Kahn this year, too. In fact, I was with Bill and with his wife, Joan, just a few days before he passed, uh, earlier in the year. 1956 to 2019. Got his button right here. Beautiful tribute. Yeah. That's great. Great job. I was like, I electrocuted. Joey Gorman was lifting weights his freshman year at St. Joe's when he realized something was wrong. I've never been struck by lightning, but if I were, I would think it would be close. And I just straight down and I just kind of, kind of froze a, a bit. The standout slugger from South Philly has been hitting homers his whole life. But what really hit home was when Joey found out he needed brain surgery. I learned I had a Chiari malformation. He was originally diagnosed with a rare brain defect when he was 12, but up until this point, it never caused any problems. Over the next three years, Joey would undergo two life-threatening brain surgeries, which ultimately caused nerve damage in his pitching arm. It just made me want to fight more. And Joey is a fighter. He's a survivor. In high school at Newman Garetti, he used to write, losing is not an option, under the brim of his baseball cap. That became his mantra, his motivation to get back on the field. He needed five other surgeries to fix his elbow, shoulder, and legs because of the nerve damage, all from Chiari. I didn't, I just never really accepted that, okay, you're gonna be done, like, you're not gonna be able to play. I just always thought, like, I'm just gonna prove that person wrong, and, um... And you did. Yeah. Many of Joey's friends and family in South Philly are part of the Bryson New Year's Brigade, and he says it was their constant support and encouragement to get back on the field this past spring. 
Joey's first game back was when St. Joe's played in the Liberty Bell Classic Championship. I had a dream that uh, I would pitch in front of my family and friends, and I never thought it would be at Citizens Bank Park. When I got to first base and looked behind the dugout and saw all the fans there, and that's something you know, I'll never, ever forget. But they were old numbers probably, too. This year, in the 2017 Sugar House Casino Mummers Parade, the Bryson New Year's Brigade will be honoring Joey to raise awareness about Chiari malformation. Their theme, losing is not an option. You know, we want to strike out Chiari. In South Philadelphia, Matt Alba.